Hi guys, so if you are preparing for uh, snap, all the best, prepare well, but hard. So this is, a, uh, I'm going to focus on how to plan for snap uh, on the basis of what, you, what has already gone by for CAD. Very similar three sections, what we call as BRC in CAD is very similar to this. Couple of adjustments you'll need to make the exam, especially the quant and DILR part. Are going to be significantly uh, the DLR is going to be likely to be significantly easier than CAT. So you'll probably have to attempt more per unit time. And so keep that in mind. So you you don't have to be in the CAT angle where you're looking to grapple with a question. You need to think about questions where in DLR you're solving a set of five questions in seven minutes, six minutes, eight minutes, not the 14, 15, or 19, 20 we're used to CAT. So make that adjustment. Uh, in quant, usually SNAP's level of difficulty has been lower at least about 20 percent lower than what we are used to in cat so keep that in mind as well so you your number of attempts per minute has to be higher for snap snap vis-a-vis -vis cat so that's an adjustment you'll have to make consciously right? and the reason quite a few students over the years have always said snap test gk what is the point of asking me to know the ceo of xyz company there is no gk in this year snap so that excuse is out right so the other uh, thing that I've heard very common is that I'm on a, I'm on a, uh, I threw everything into CAD, it went really well and then I just lost into for snap or it went so poor that I could not pick myself up for snap and so that major excuse is going to cut it. We are taking snap in the event CAD does not work out. If you know for a fact that CAD has not gone your way, then it is up to you to buckle down and have a clear crack at snap. I've had quite a few students who threw everything into CAD prep and then missed it. And then they are studying in SABM or SCMHRD. And so these are these two colleges at least are wonderful. They will feature in any list of or most list of top 20 that you can see around. So it is your duty to make sure that you rouse yourself up in the last week or 10 days and, and give a completely good crack at snap. There, there cannot, you cannot afford to have an intensity drop from cat snap or cat to x80. This happens, this happens frequently. You have thrown in 5 months, 6 months into this cat thing and then that thing happens and maybe it doesn't fall your way that's when you should readable and say okay this didn't work but my all my strengths are with me my knowledge is with me i'm going to have two more shots or three more shots at this i'm going to make one of them count so rouse yourself up and don't do don't do snap or x80 at at 90 percent levels it's simply not worth it and so turn up and, and crank it up on on d-day best wishes for snap the details for the course are all available. You can see the uh, click the picture. There's nothing funny there. It's 150 marks. You read through the bits and bobs. You'll clearly know that there is one special type question for quant only. About five questions carrying two marks each instead of one mark. The, the marks and details are not wildly apart. The sectional breakup is not far apart. The three sections are more or less the same. So you'll, you'll have to make some one. You'll have to go through that document before you go to the exam. Read whatever was given in the exam before that. But it's not a dramatic shift. Or it's not, it's not going to change the way you approach the exam. So don't don't go to town and over analyzing the breakup between quant, VARC, and DLR and analytical regime. None of that. All of those things won't matter. You can keep your intensity high up. You don't have GK to, to blame a poor performance on and make sure you turn up on D Day. Best wishes, guys.